As you guys saw in the last video, we caught some freaking biggins on big worms. Yes, yes. Oh my gosh. So if you guys haven't seen that, I'd suggest that you guys go check it out. I mean, we caught some, some big ones. I don't want to spoil it, but we caught some massive fish and I think you guys really enjoy it. But this is kind of like a part two from the last video. The last video we were throwing slow moving baits, big 12 inch worms for some massive, massive fish. I'll link it down below. But today we're going to be going at it with a different strategy. This was actually yesterday that I filmed that video and we're going back today to see if we can do something totally different to trigger those bass, especially during this summer to fall transition right now. I'm really curious if this is gonna work, but let's go ahead and talk about what we're doing. Oh, by the way, if you guys are new to the freaking channel, bro, smash that subscribe button, man. Hit that like button, hit the notification bell, and comment below some video ideas. So the reason I'm so excited about this video is one, I'm gonna get to try out some new baits that I haven't before that I think are going to work very well, and two, I have a little announcement. So I got something in the mail yesterday. We're gonna open it up right now. Look what's inside and see the goodness in this box. So right here, what we have is my first Super 6 box by Six Cents, as you guys can tell right there. This is such a premium bag, man. I was so impressed when I got this in the mail. I did not think that it was gonna be this high quality, but this bag is freaking sweet. This is perfect because it's a tiny Ziploc. It's not too big. It's got little handles on it, and I can carry this around pretty much anywhere I go, especially when we're bank fishing, dude. Instead of throwing like all the plastics and all the stuff inside of my pockets, I can just throw it in this tiny bag, and uh, we're good to go from there. So I have a bunch of lures inside here. We're gonna be talking about a few of these and which ones I'm gonna be using today during the summer to fall transition to catch some big fish. So this is actually a monthly subscription box. And usually when I think about it, I'm like, oh cool, whatever. So I got this thing in the mail. I wasn't thinking too much about it. I was like, man, this is gonna be sweet because it's different and it's unique. But when I got it, I was even more impressed. And let me tell you why. One, this bag that it came in this month is absolutely amazing. I'm gonna be using it. You know, I'm gonna be taking it out to the bank areas that I fish. It's gonna be easy for me to take the tackle. Unlike many of other boxes, which you know I've used in the past, this one is filled with premium products. All six cents lures inside, okay? No crap, all premium. Straight up, all premium inside this box. And if you guys would like to go check it out, I'll leave it in the description, but let's go ahead and open this thing inside. And let's go ahead and open this thing, look inside and see what lures we got. That's the biggest thing. This thing, let's see what's inside. Like I said, if you guys wanna check it out, it'd be in the description box below. But straight up, this is the real deal. No trash baits inside, all premium products for a great price, and you will be saving money. And dude, like, I'm, I'm just so impressed by it, I really am. Um, all right, let's take out all the baits. Let's go ahead and look and see what we got. Gosh, I'm excited. I am excited. Okay, and that's empty. Dude, that's got a good bit of room. Yeah, we're gonna be using this to, to take baits around the pond. So, um, all right, let's look at some of these baits. Let's flip them over. Let's see what we got here. The first one, you guys know that I've been whacking them on, which is the Swank. The Swank right here, I've been killing it on all week. I actually tried it for the first time last week, and I've caught numerous amounts of big bass. One of the videos hasn't even released, but this thing has been doing me very good. As you guys can tell, the unique shaped bill on that thing. This thing dives two to four foot. It's a perfect grass bait. And it's really great for bank fishing just because the majority of the time when you're fishing a lot of these ponds and areas like that, there's so much slop in there and this really allows you to fish a crankbait in a pond, which usually you can't do. We've got a cloud nine right here. This is a deep diver. That is a beautiful, beautiful color. That's gonna be awesome. We can't use that today, but once we get out on the boat or the kayak, that's gonna be perfect. God, look at that paint job. Look at that paint job right there. That one's freaking sweet. I really like that color. We got the Crush Mini right here. Oof, look at that. We could possibly use this guy today, but there's one bait in particular that I'm looking at, not even the Swank. And this is one I haven't tried out yet. This is actually the Snatch by Six Cents. Let me open this thing up. Oh man, I, I'm, I'm so excited about this. This has been sitting on my kitchen counter for so long and uh, I've been just dying to throw this bait in particular, um, especially at the place that we went to yesterday, which we're going to today. And uh, let me tell you why that this bait's gonna be a key player today. So right now we're in that summer to fall transition. All the fish are starting to push the bait up shallow and I've noticed that, you know, there's a bunch of bait up shallow. I can see the fish chewing on them and eating them. Yesterday, I was throwing a slow moving bait to see if I could still get them to eat that rather than a reaction bite and it worked. So today, we're gonna be going back 
with the snatch right here and uh, this color actually is a blue back and it's got a chrome body and let me tell you this time of year around the fall this is an amazing color to catch fish as you guys know i've been catching them on a crawdad color which is usually something i would not throw this time of year but it's been working um but this guy is going to be perfect got the premium hooks on there we shouldn't lose any fish hopefully i probably shouldn't have said that we're going to tie this bad boy on we're going to go out to that place and also you know we'll look at some of these other baits i might throw the swank today i don't know if i'm going to throw it i might put it aside just for today um, but we are going to have to adjust so we're going to mess around with the snatch I'm going to give you my honest opinion on it because I haven't got to use it yet and um, see if we can catch some giant bass. So let's go ahead, rig this up on a rod, get out to the pond, and see if we can get these fish that were finicky yesterday to react on a moving right, bait. so we just made it over to this beautiful lake right here. It's freaking huge, and this place is actually very hard to fish. Um, this is the one that we fished in the last episode. We fished it with big worms. I actually ended up bringing, I brought two rods. So I brought the big worm because you never know when things are going to go south. You never know if you're going to have to have a slow moving bait. So I did bring it um, and that's what I smacked him on yesterday. And uh, yeah, and then we're going to tie on the snatch that's in here. I'm th That's my main thing. I'm super excited about this because I haven't got to try it yet. Um, I love trying new stuff and this thing just is perfect, especially for this time of year. Um, just the color and everything looks awesome and I know the hooks are premium and uh, gosh it should be a big big bass catcher right there so let's go ahead and take this out we're gonna tie it on this combo right here and yeah if you guys are wondering why <laughs> um i have a pro ti on the mock crush rod it's because the the rod that i ordered is actually on back order so for the time being it's gonna be on this one for people that keep commenting about that um but yeah let's go ahead and get this started man let's tie this bad boy on this rod right here and catch a big bass by the way i haven't been seeing enough big bass energy man i mean what what's up guys what what's going on you guys better start commenting down below commenting on every other fishing video you guys watch, every single video, hashtag Big Bass Energy, hashtag Team KTV TV. And also, if you guys want to tag me on Instagram in your stories, at me at Kicking Their Bass TV and hashtag Big Bass Energy. I've been reposting a lot. Sadly, I can't read. Oh, I think I need to stop talking. I think I need to stop. Talking. Let's just fish. Let's fish. Let's catch a big one. Let's just let's just do it. It's okay. We about to get an up close and personal shot of this bad boy. God, look at them hooks on there too. Oh man, that's what I like to test. Ooh, I like it. I like it. Look at that. See blue back, chrome body, and it's actually got some gold in the front. This is awesome, especially right here during the fall time. Oh, oh my God, dude, these hooks are so sharp. Oh, I'm bleeding, dude. <laughs> dude these hooks are so sharp well <laughs> that's one thing that i know about six cents products is their hooks are no joke <laughs> let's go ahead and tie this bad boy on if you guys are wondering what pound line i'm tying it on um i believe this is this is 15 i either go with 15 or 17 on a traparoo or in this case the snatch all right guys here goes nothing first cast with the always check our drag perfecto maybe a little it's a little bit tighter I'm gonna throw up next to this little grass patch just in case. Oh, look at all the bait. You see that? Oh my God, this is perfect for today. Watch this, watch the bait jump. See the bait jumping? Look at that, look at all the bait. That's exactly why we're throwing this today up shallow. You know, these fish are starting to push the bait up shallow and it's starting to get good. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Come on fish, let's catch them on this today. We're gonna have to figure out how they're gonna eat it, whether they're gonna eat it with us just straight retrieving it giving it you know fast lower trees and then pauses or if we're gonna start hopping it and uh ripping it off the bottom that's usually what i do with the trap i've had some of my best luck just ripping it we're gonna have to see we're gonna have to find out today oh there he is god he's running crazy oh oh no I could not keep up with them. Did you guys hear me reeling right there? Oh, that's a prime example of these fish pushing the bait up on the bank. So, you know, God, we've been here for a couple minutes. I already got slammed. That is not common for this place. We were here for hours last episode. Okay, so, you know, we walked up. We saw a bunch of bait on the bank. Um, sun's going down too. These fish are going to about, about to start feeding. And um, I've seen a bunch of bait fish jumping along the bank. I threw this trap right up there on the bank and he ate it right away. I mean, just right away. He's only about two pounds, but I couldn't keep up with him. Like I threw up there like that. 
I started reeling, he was already on there. It's not what I wanted to happen. I knew it was there. He ain't getting us today, man. I can't afford to lose this. It's literally my only one. It's in a brush pile. I knew I shouldn't have made that cast. I was getting ballsy. I got it. Thank God. Thank the Lord. Look at the bait right there. There's so much bait up shallow. This is exactly what I was talking about. God. God. Dude, that's exactly what I was talking about. He's the smaller one that ate it. There's freaking a school of them right here. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Dude, they're feeding right here. All right, calm down. He's so hyper, dude. He's been chasing bait. God, calm down. These are the ones you gotta be careful with, guys. Look at that. About a pound and a half of how fat he is. Got him around top of the nose. He was with a school of bigger fish. There was a big one that freaking hit it almost like a topwater, dude. They were fighting over it. That's exactly what happened. Look how fat he is. He's been feeding and pushing these fish up shallow in this pocket. Exactly what I was talking about yesterday and exactly what's happening now since the sun's coming down. Let's get back in there. Oh, gosh. Hit that like button, guys. I can't believe the big one missed it. Gosh, I can't believe the big... He dove over it. There's like two or three of them, man. I got slammed right away. See if we can catch another in the school. They are chasing bait, man. There's a lot. Look, he's right there. Oh my gosh, that was a good one. Next cast. Dude, that's crazy. That was a good one, dude. He just did not eat it. I was burning it. It's exactly a summer to fall transition. Prime example. Throwing the right color right here. Doing exactly what these fish are doing is pushing this fish his bait fish up shallow and just had two good bites back to back just happened to hook the small one out of the bunch so these fish were just pushing bait up here on the bank we're going to start casting around they might have pulled off and they're uh, kind of roaming out here on this flat so we're going to start casting our trap out here i think that they they're kind of pulling up and they'll feed and then they'll pull back out either roaming on this flat a little bit more or they pull off on the edge of the flat that's the only two options that they really have. So we're going to start casting out here. Let's see if we can pin one of them up. Got him. He ain't big. He ain't bad, but he ain't big. See me burning it? Do you see that? Right here during this time of year, the summer to fall transition once these fish you're pissing on me you little turd <laughs> you little turd all right where's your freaking mama let me get all your piss off my leg that's not the size that we want but look how i want you guys to notice how fat that these fish are that we're catching because they're sitting here and they're feeding on all these bait fish this time of year they start eating it aggressive man like aggressive and as you can tell right there dude i just started burning this thing and he grabbed it so we got two schooling already that's a really great sign loving the bait so far i really like the action of it and um that is exactly where we caught them over there what we're gonna do now i've, I've kind of fan casted a good bit i haven't done enough but um i'm gonna switch up to the worm and start dragging it off the edge of this flat and um, then we're gonna let those fish sit over there that are schooling up on the bank and then go back there later with the trap and then i also kind of want to fish this bank where all the wind's going into it um and it has a big shade line as well i think that would be good big and oh he came off and i was burning it oh my gosh i wasn't ready i wasn't ready for that bite i was a freaking slaunch i didn't even hook that dude that was just that was pure stupidness on my part dude i was burning i had my rod so high so i didn't have no room i had my rod pointed straight up so when he ate it i just literally never hook set i just reeled into him and with how they're eating it they're kind of slapping at it because i'm reeling it so fast that's just not the way to do it that was actually a good one dang it fish right under this grass oh my god what okay um that's uh very interesting that's all i gotta say about that um nice buddy nice oh there he is there he is there he is there we go. Let's go. 
It's a good one. Oh, no, it ain't. Oh, my gosh. I really don't care. This is painful, boys. No, stop it. I'll let you go. Stop it. He hit it exactly like a freaking biggin, dude. They're all so fat, though. You can tell they've been eating little bellies. Gosh, all the ones that we've got haven't been big. Oh, no. I stepped in water. We're going to have to toss you, buddy. Thank you. Okay. Oh, they're calm now. We've been searching for them biggins. Look how fat he is. Pushing bait up shallow this time of day, summer to fall transition. All you gotta, guys, this is all you gotta know. All you gotta know, man. Go take it out on the water. Bring your big bass energy with you. Go catch some freaking big fish. Come back in my videos, tell me that you caught some big fish with some of the tips I've shown you guys in this video. And I'll be so freaking happy, man. We're gonna weigh him. This one's worth weighing. I think he's two and three quarters. We gonna get an official weight, boys. I'll take them off at a show. Two pounds, fourteen ounces. Two pounds, thirteen ounces. Look at that. One ounce away from two and three quarters. <clears throat> Almost a three-pound bass, boys. Fish are pushing the bait up shallow.